transportation, the affordable mass transportation and practical, I should say, in California? Well, I mean, I thought $100 more for the average American's gas tank is expensive. But well, if you're a trucker, oh, I know. $1,425. So how is this going to impact you? Experts predict surging gas prices and inflation will leave the average American family at least $3,000 less in their pocket to spend, as you can see, $2,000 on gas, $1,000 on groceries, $3,000 less to spend on stuff. Fox and Friends Weekend co-host Will Kane is here to react. Will, a year ago, it was $2.77. Today, it's $4.17. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. $3,000 a year for the average household, as Steve just showed us on the screen, a year in cost according to gas and groceries. So let's put that into perspective. I think the average American household makes about $87,000 a year. That's a household, $63,000 for an individual. So you remember when Joe Biden said no taxes, absolutely no taxes right. for anyone Great. making less than $400,000. Mm -hmm. Good point. So let's just put that math to the test. That's a 7% tax increase because $3,000 is after tax income. So count that as post tax income. You essentially have seen your taxes go up by almost 7% like that in the past year. Well, Will, essentially, it's a climate tax because the administration does not want to increase production. They want people to drive less because of the climate. And, and an important part of that, Steve, is that we already saw this inflation. We already saw these gas prices rising before the Russia-Ukrainian war. 100%. I think the administration is going to do their best to lay this on the doorstep of Vladimir Putin's ambition. And make no mistake, that has exacerbated the problem. But the problem was already born before this war. And can I just add something to that Fox Business report? Um, she was talking about the price of diesel going up, and that means transportation costs go up, and that means your food prices go up, yeah. because you got to pass that on. Here's a little, little uh, talked about other aspect to the Russia-Ukrainian conflict. Russia and Ukraine supply a third of the world's wheat. They are the breadbasket of Europe. Mm -hmm. And now there's concerns that entire operation is going to be shut down for the coming year. Now, they don't supply the United States, but they supply countries like Turkey and Lebanon. And when those countries can't turn to Russia or Ukraine, they're going to turn to the United States to right. buy more wheat and in turn drive up our prices That's here right. at home. All right, Will. Uh, appreciate it. Doing a little economics talk. Wouldn't be surprised you give a little webinar yeah. after the show. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. Thanks, Will.